Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are discussing about the type of welded joints and extent of radiographic examination includes RT1, RT2, RT3 and RT4. As we all know, contents of ASME section 8 division 1 divided into three subsections. Subsection A that is the general requirement and subsection B that is the method of fabrication which is divided into three parts part a by welding which is denoted as uw part b by forging which is denoted as u of part c by bracing which is denoted as ub subsection c classes of material for construction is classified into option a carbon and low alloy steels which is denoted as ucs option b non ferrous materials which is denoted as UNF. Categories of welded joint is given in UW3 of ASME Section 8 Division 1. Welded joints are categorized in accordance with the location of joints in the vessel. They are classified or categorized into Category A, Category B, Category C and Category D wells. What is category A? What is category B? What is category C and D wells? Category A wells are all longitudinal wells in shell, heads and nozzle. And also the circumferential welded joints connecting hemispherical heads to shell is also considered as a category A weld. Category B wells are circumferential wells in shell and nozzle. Category C is flange and flange attachment, whereas category D is a nozzle attachment. You can see from the figure it is the category A wells are longitudinal wells and category B wells are the circumferential weld joints. Here this joint is this circumferential joint is categorized as category A weld joint. This is because this is a circumferential joint that connects hemispherical heads to shell. The circumferential welded joint or butt joint, circumferential butt joint that connects hemispherical heads to main shell is considered as a category A joint. The circumferential welded joint connecting hemispherical heads to shell is considered as a category A joint. All other circumferential welded joints are considered as category B joints. That means all other cat circumferential world joint is considered as category B joint. Category C and D are no flange and nozzle attachment. You can see that this is a flange which is attached to the nozzle, which is described as category C joint. Whereas category D is a nozzle attachment. This is a nozzle that is connected to the vessel and is a considered as a category D joint. Category C also consists of butt joint that connects flat head to shell. This is a flat head that is connected to shell which is also considered as a category C joint. Table UW12 gives the relationship between type of joint, extent of radiographic examination and joint efficiency. The joints are categorized into category A, B, C and D according, in accordance with the position of the joints in the vessel. And joints are also classified into different types that is, includes type number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Type number 1 welded joints are the butt joint attained by double welding or by other means which will obtain the same quality of deposited weld metal thickness on the inside and outside weld surface to agree with the requirements of UW35. Welds using metal backing strip which remain in place are excluded. The efficiency is 1.85.7 depending upon the degree of radiography applied. This, so the ca type number one joints are butt joints which are double welded joints. If we conduct full radiographic examination, then the type number one joint will give a joint efficiency of one, 
and if we conduct spot radiographic examination then the type number one joint will give a joint efficiency of 0.85 if no radiography is conducted then the type number one joint will give a joint efficiency of 0 0.70 the type number two is a single welded butt joint with backing strip other than those included under type number one which has a joint efficiency of 0 0.90 if we conduct full radiography and 0 0.80 if we conduct sport and 0 0.65 if no radiography is conducted. What is category C welded joint? Or well, cat category not type 3 welded joints. Type 3 welded joints are single welded butt joint without use of backing stripper. There is a restriction imposed by the code. That restriction is it is only applicable to circumferential welded joints, but welded joints not over 16 mm thick and not over 600 mm outside diameter. Efficiency the joint efficiency of the type number 3 welded joints are 0 0.60 only for no radiography. From the table UW12, we can see that the joint efficiency is 0 0.60 for single welded part joint. The next question arises in our mind is that can a single welded full penetration butt joint be type number one with a joint efficiency of one when full RT is performed? In this table UW12, the joint efficiency one is for double welded butt joint. The type number one that includes double welded butt joint and has only the joint efficiency one if we perform full radiographic examination. For single welded joint, it is not applicable whether we conduct full radiography the joint efficiency one is not applicable the only applicable joint efficiency is 0 0.60 when no radiography is performed so the our question is can a single welded full penetration butt joint be type number one with joint efficiency of one when full radiographic examination is performed the answer is yes if the requirements of UW35 and UW37D are met, what is UW35 states? UW35 states that butt welded joint shall have complete penetration and fusion. The surface of weld shall be sufficiently free from coarse ripples, grooves, overlaps, and abrupt ridges and valleys. UW37D state that for single welded joints both members shall be aligned properly to avoid lack of penetration that means no misalignment shall be present on the joint if the single welded butt joint satisfies the requirements of uw35 and uw37 d and also if you perform full radiographic examination then the joint efficiency of the single welded jo butt joint is also become one the, from this table it is understood that the joint efficiency only depends upon the type of joint and the extent of radiographic examination. For example, the type of joint is one. If we conduct full radiography, then the joint efficiency is one. And if we conduct the spot radiographic examination, then the joint efficiency will reduce it to 0.85. And if conduct no radiography, the joint efficiency will become 0 0.70. The same applicable to type number 2. If you conduct full radiographic examination, then the joint efficiency will become 0 0.90. And if you conduct spot radiographic examination, then the joint efficiency reduce it to 0 0.80. And if no radiographic examination is conducted, the radiographic efficiency is jo the joint efficiency is reduced to 0.65. So the joint efficiency so the joint efficiency depends only on type of the joint and also the extent of radiographic examination conducted. Hope you guys understood this lesson. If you have any doubts, please comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching the channel. Please subscribe the channel for more videos.